Dear student, today we want to find bilinear transformation. We know bilinear transformation W equal to AZ plus B CZ plus D. This, this one bilinear transformation W equal to AZ plus B CZ plus D. We want to find this from this given information. So this one given find a bilinear transformation transformer which maps the points i minus i1 of z plane. These are on z plane and into 0, 1 infinity of the w plane. So the z plane the values are given i minus i1 and w plane given 0, 1 infinity. Now we have to find the bilinear transformation w equal to az plus b cz plus d. Now solution start, solution start, here, here uh, we consider this as z1, z1 equal to i, z2 equal to minus i, z3 equal to 1, we consider this as z1, z2, z3 and w1 equal to 0, this is 0, W2 equal to 1 and W3 equal to infinity. These are the values which are given. Now you want to find this. So by cross ratio, cross ratio formula by cross ratio we have what we have W minus W1 W2 minus W3 by W minus W3 W2 minus W1. So W minus W1, W2 minus W3, W minus W3, W2 minus W1. And the right hand side also same in terms of Z, Z minus Z1, Z2 minus Z3 and z minus z3 and z2 minus z1. So this is our cross ratio formula. It was given in last video. So this is our cross ratio formula. But one thing is that one value given infinity. Uh, so w3 is infinity. If infinity given, we can't put directly. If we put in directly, then result will be infinity. So w3 is infinity given. So from this, here W3, here we get W3, from these two terms we are taking W3 common. So this is W minus W1, from these two taking W3 common, we get W2 by W3 minus 1. And here also W3 common, then we get W minus W3 minus 1. These are remain same W2 minus W2 minus W1 and on right hand side no problem this is remain same Z minus Z1 Z2 minus Z3 by Z minus Z3 Z2 minus Z1 we get this one so this will be this W3 these two are cancel so we get W minus W1, this is W2 by W3 minus 1 by W by, by W by W3 minus 1, W2 minus W1, this equal to right hand side remain same, Z minus Z1, Z2 minus Z3 and Z minus Z3 Z2 minus Z minus Z3, Z2 minus Z1. Now you want to put in the values. The values are given W minus W1. W1 given 0. So we put in the values W minus 0 into W2 by W3. W3 is 1, W3 is infinity. 1 by infinity. 1 by infinity minus 1. Then W by W3, 
W by W3, W3 means infinity and W2 minus W1, W2 is 1, this is 0. 1 minus 0. And on right hand side, or right, Z minus Z1, Z minus Z1, Z1 is I. And Z2 minus Z3, Z2 is minus I. Z3 is 1 we get. And denominator Z minus Z3. So Z minus Z3. Z minus Z3 is 1. We get 1. And Z2 minus Z1. Z2 is minus I. And this is I. So we get this one. So this will be. So this will be W. And something by infinity we know 0. And this is 0 minus 1. This is 1. And this one Z minus I. This is minus I minus 1. Z minus 1. Minus I minus I minus twice I. We get this. So this is minus W by minus 1. And on right hand side. This is uh, I given. So we taking from these two minus sign common. If we taking minus sign common, then we get I plus 1. We get this. And this is Z minus 1. This is minus twice I. This minus, this minus cancel. And here also minus minus cancel. Only we get W equal to. So Z minus I i plus 1 z minus 1 by twice i we get this up to this clear so this is twice i we know in complex number if denominator i this denominator must be free from i so we multiply numerator and denominator by i this is i given we multiplying by i this is z minus i i plus 1 into i. So we multiply numerator and denominator by i because denominator must be free from i. So this will be z minus 1. This is 2. Z minus 1. This is 2 i square. And this is z minus 1. The z minus i. And this is multiplying this one i square plus i. We get this. So this equal to z minus i. So left hand side is w. w equal to z minus i. This is this one i square. We know i square means minus 1. Minus 1 plus i. And this is z minus 1. This is 2 into minus 1. Since uh, i square equal to minus 1. Because we know i equal to root over minus 1. So i square equal to minus 1. So this implies z minus 1. This is minus 2. And if we multiply this, this will be minus z plus ij multiplying by z minus minus plus i minus i square we get this this one we get w equal to this is minus 2z plus 2 and this is minus z plus ij and i square means minus 1 we know i square is minus 1 so denominator remains same minus twice z plus 2. So uh, one term is left. This is i plus i minus minus 1. So we get this one. Minus z plus i z plus i plus 1. We get this one. So, this is W equal to, denominator remains same, twice z plus 2. So, from these two, 
taking z common if we taking z common then this is i minus 1 first we write i next minus 1 this is z common and this one i plus 1 so what we get w equal to a z plus b c z plus d because we know w equal to a z plus b c z plus d this is our uh, bilinear transformation so we get w equal to a z a z plus b c z plus d so this is our answer so dear students the solution is clear if this solution is clear please subscribe my channel